If you have seen my a day in the life of a UBC gap year student, you would know that I tutor a lot of kids. But I also work in one English academy, which works kind of like an English library. I've been working here since last year October, and I film a few things that I do there. The first task that I do is I organize students' files in the order of their booking time, so myself and the other teachers can have an easier time finding students' files when they arrive at the academy. I work from the opening time of the academy, but most of the students don't really call for the first 30 minutes, so during that time I read a book. The book that I'm currently reading is No Murder the Stars by Lewis Lowry. I remember reading this when I was in 7th grade, however I forgot a lot of parts, so I decided to reread it. I thought I forgot almost everything, but I started to remember a lot of the parts once I started reading. I can't really read a lot once the students start coming into the academy from 1.30, so I'm only up to chapter 10 right now. The book is very good, so I recommend it to you if you haven't read it. After the students read a book, the other teachers and I do a discussion with the students about the book. Then they write a summary, and we have to fix the grammatical mistakes that they make. I also tutor a lot of students with their essays, so this part of the work in the academy is quite similar with my tutoring work. There are a lot of books in the academy that I read when I was in kindergarten or elementary school. It's such a throwback for me. I remember reading Jimmy B. Jones series and I always thought how she is such a weird and crazy child. The illustrations in the book also brings back a lot of memories. Andrew Collins is one of my favorite childhood authors and my favorite book is Frindle. I still love this book and if you haven't read it, please read it. I rate 50 out of 10. Raw Doll. Absolutely love all of his books and this also brings back a lot of elementary school memories. I also enjoyed reading Magic Treehouse series. However, the Merlin Mission series are new to me. When I first saw this, I low-key felt that I was old. Arthur's Adventure series, Curious George series, and Nate the Great series are also such a throwback for me. I loved reading when I was young, and working here makes me reminisce the science and motivated me to love reading again. Every 31st day in Korea, Baskin Robbins does it seal, so I bought a half-gallon science for my dad and I. I also came out on a show called You Quiz on the Block on the Space, so I was waiting for her to come up while eating.